Hey, welcome. This lesson is going to be a setup lesson where we're going to be setting up to write the JavaScript code, as well as in the upcoming lessons, we're going to be going over some of the core fundamental concepts of JavaScript. So this is perfect as a refresher and a review of JavaScript in preparation for the upcoming lessons. So first of all, we are going to need an editor. The editor that we're going to be using in the upcoming lessons is Visual Studio Code. Uh, so this is available at code.visualstudio.com. This is a free uh, editor that you can use. So it's an open source editor and it can run on various platforms such as Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm currently going to be running this on a Mac machine. So if you want to use the same editor that we're going to be using, you can go over to the Visual Studio and download it. And of course, you are free to use whatever editor you're most comfortable with. So I've got my basic HTML page that we've connected to an app.js file. So let's go ahead and create app.js. So going up to the top, file, new file, and then select within the text editor. This is where we're going to create in the brand new file, and this will just be app.js. And in here, we can put a console message and just type in working. And then let's save this as an app.js file. So save as a JavaScript file so that we can run the code from the index file. So opening up index.html will allow us to run the code. So let's try that and refresh. And we've got the code running in the console. I am going to be using Chrome as my browser of choice. And every version of Chrome comes with developer tools. If you're not familiar with developer tools, then this is a great opportunity to open up developer tools and take a look around and see all of the amazing things that are available within developer tools. So on a Mac, you can press command option plus C on a Windows machine, control shift plus C. So there's nothing additional to install on your browser or on your system. And then once you open it, or you can also go to the three icons in the top right hand corner, select more tools and then select developer tools. And this is going to open up the developer tools console. And the one that we want to look at is within the tabs of console. By default, it's going to open up the developer tools on the right hand side. You can also dock them to the bottom and minimize some of the other drawers. And then also you can increase the size of the visual for the developer tools. And we are going to be working with this in a lot of detail. So let's use command plus and I'm going to increase the size so that we can see the content being output a lot more clear. We've got the console log outputting the value of working. So everything is in fact working and we are ready to proceed to the next lessons where we're going to be going over all of the wonderful things that you can do with JavaScript and all the core fundamentals of JavaScript. So that's still all yet to come. So go ahead and set up your developer environment open up your editor, open up the file within the browser, and then also open up the developer tools and you can be ready to move on to the next lesson. And we are also going to be making use of Node Package Manager. In order to use Node Package Manager, you do need to install Node on your computer. So you can go over to nodejs.org and select the download link for Node and do an install of it on your computer. And you're going to be ready to access the Node Package Manager and take advantage of all of the packages available within Node. So in order to access it, and once you've downloaded it, you can check to make sure it's installed by going into the terminal. I'm going to select the terminal. You can select new terminal in order to create a new terminal from the top menu of Visual Studio, and then navigate to where the location of the file is, the app.js file. And you can also check to make sure that Node is installed by typing in node-v 